the countdown has begun for this weekend's opening round of the World Formula One Championship here in Grand Prix City, Melbourne. The teams are already here and are working around the clock to convert thousands of tonnes of valuable cargo into the world's biggest annual sporting event. I'd like to say that the city's at fever pitch about the big race, but in all honesty, the return of the local football competition is taking all the attention. However, the new Formula One regulations and the form of Australia's Daniel Ricciardo still seems to have attracted plenty of interest from Melbourne's sporting public. Ticket sales are up on last year across all categories. Why is that? Well, we've done a lot to really retain and grow our customer base from a corporate point of view. The action is exciting, so grandstand patrons are coming back in their droves. Daniel Ricciardo finished third in the championship last season and there's so much to see and do for general admission patrons and the weather's going to be superb. This is a new era of Formula One. The ownership have changed recently. Liberty Media purchased it for, I believe, about $8 billion. The new management team of Formula One is coming out to Melbourne. They're going to see a show. And what they want to do for Formula One is up the ante on the race experience for fans. And we do that every year. And we're doing it more and more this year for fans. We've got the Melbourne Walk, M Lane, Formula One Fan Forum, activities for children, race goers, Formula One fans and of course Melbourne's food and wine um, lovers won't be forgotten either. With no actual cars to look at, media attention was instead taken by the unveiling of the Grid Girls uniform for 2017 and publicity for the event's official charity, Guide Dogs Australia. The fashion spectacular even having an impact on the event's CEO. For the first time ever I've worn a pocket handkerchief to the Grand Prix just because of the influence of my daughter and fashion. The new Formula One regulations will see the cars lapping the famous circuit faster than in previous years and Andrew Westacott's confident that the long-standing outright lap record might finally fall. We expect the cars to be five to six a seconds a lap quicker. We expect Michael Schumacher's race record of 2004 to be broken and what we want to see this week is Daniel Ricciardo on the top step of the podium. The Australian Formula One Grand Prix kicks off at Albert Park this Thursday with the Formula One cars making their first appearance Friday at midday Melbourne time. The good news for local fans is that yes, there will be free-to-air coverage of the event via Channel 10.